Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach. I want to tell you about a big, interesting change in our translation program. And I have some questions that people have asked me about it. What's the first question? What inspired you to start the Mixed Nuts? And how did it begin? Uh, I like to tell my friends that the Mixed Nuts translation project to translate the great books of ancient times I wrote that proposal when I was 22 years old and it was exactly the same books and exactly the same structure as we have now, but it took me uh, 48 years to find the people and the financial support. Why is the translation project important today? And how do you expect these translations to impact the world? So last night we finished uh, Sedona College of International Management, uh, DCI Level 7, training teachers to teach Level 7, which is about the topic of how to touch the diamond world, uh, which is a life-changing experience. And there's no more life-changing experience than that. If you can do that in this life, it changes your life totally. So much that you become a different level of evolution, actually. And uh, people ask me, uh, how can I accelerate this process? How can, I, how can I touch the diamond world or see emptiness directly faster? And my answer is just that, come to the Mixed Nuts classes, uh, come to our new class format, and just listen uh, to these deep, deep, authentic teachings on how to see emptiness, and you will. So for people that are new to the Mixed Nuts and know nothing about the content of the books or the history of these ancient texts, how do you think this could help them? Yeah, I got this question a lot from people, and you know, you have never seen classes like this before, there have not been classes taught like this for 1,400 years since uh, there was a great translation project in, in mainland China headed by a monk named Shenzang who spent 17 years walking uh, through the great, through over I think 50 countries, small countries uh, that had this philosophy, this deep, deep, ancient Buddhist philosophy was in those countries. He came home to Chang'an, which was the capital of ancient China in the Tang Dynasty. He came home and the emperor gave him a tower called Wild Goose Pagoda. And I've been to that tower uh, with my wife, Veronica, uh, in what's now called Xi'an, China. And it's unbelievable. The energy there is unbelievable. And you have uh, this person who trained himself for 17 years is translating about 1,000 of the greatest books of India together with his team. And that's exactly what we're doing with the Mixed Nuts. And oh, by the way, that project changed China forever. And uh, China went through many, many changes, uh, many, many empires, many dynasties, but the basic uh, Chinese person's personality, which I consider very intelligent and very industrious and very kind, uh, was developed because of, I think, because of that translation effort. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who's undecided about attending the class to encourage them to come to the class? Uh, what I would say to encourage you to come to the class is not, please come to one class and see how you like it, because you won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody said, uh, Gishla, I came to the class, I didn't understand anything. Listen, we have a new saying in the mix nuts. Uh, if you can't understand anything, you belong in the class, okay? And if you think about it, a lot of the lectures you go to, a lot of the classes you go to, 
you already know most of the stuff they're talking about. Maybe you refine your understanding of something, but it's nothing completely new to you. But uh, a mixed nuts class normally is something completely new to you, and it makes very mm, fundamental changes in your thinking, in your brain, in your whole outlook on life. So uh, they are tough classes, and they are deep classes, and they have a major impact on your mind. And normally after we graduate from high school or, or, or university, we don't really struggle to learn new things. Uh, during this one hour class, uh, you will struggle to learn new things, and you will learn new things, and it will make your life extremely happy and also successful, even in a financial room. Could you tell us a little bit about how a mixed nuts class looks? Like, what's the structure of the class? What are you doing in the class? What are the mixed nuts translators doing? Uh, we are attacking, uh, so over two and a half thousand years, that's a hundred generations. Normally, every three or four generations, people think differently or people have different things they want to talk about or think about. So, you know, every hundred or two hundred years, uh, new ideas come out. And so in the history of the Asian classics, for the last 2,500 years, there have developed about 12 great different schools, completely different schools, who, who don't even recognize each other. And most people don't appreciate that. Uh, when you dip your toe into this bathtub, you're going to get uh, 12 different, completely uh, different schools from 25 centuries, and they are unbelievable. Each one is unbelievable. Every time you come to a class, uh, you will learn something new, and an important new part of these classes is something that we call diamond mining. So we'll be doing one hour, we'll be working with a translator live, and you'll be listening, uh, we'll be asking you to participate, if you want to, and we'll be going through the classics. We chose the most important books out of 300,000 ancient Asian classics. We chose the 12 most important books. So you'll be going through these books that will change your mind completely. Then at the end of an hour of class, we have a new idea for 15 minutes. Uh, we will discuss among all of us online. We'll say, what did you learn from that class? What did you hear in that class that you could use in your business or in your own family life or your personal life? What did you hear in that class that you could use? And we'll all be, you know, participating. Uh, we'll all be talking about uh, what we learned in that class and what, how we could use it in our real life. Then we'll be doing uh, another 15 minutes uh, for anybody who wants to. We'll be talking about uh, major upcoming events in the whole uh, Worldview Network and things, other, other classes and events that you might want to go to. Could you talk a little bit about the profile of the translators that you're training? Why, <laughs> why did you choose these people? And also, what do you hope them to achieve after studying how to translate with you for 10, 15 years? <laughs> Good question. Uh, actually, the reason uh, I haven't, I wasn't successful in building a translator team up till about uh, eight years ago, I tried uh, with many people and I, 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 I trained some people for five years, seven years, uh, a real training of a translator, I would say, takes about 15 years. And uh, I tried uh, with different people and they just didn't succeed. And so I kind of waited to see if I could locate some really... First of all, they have to be super intelligent. Secondly, they have to have language skills. 
and a good ear. The best translators like Nick Lashaw are, are musicians also. And then thirdly, they have to be dedicated. You know, you can't uh, learn something for 15 years. Uh, if it takes 15 years to learn something, there's very few people who are going to stick it out, who are going to stay for 15 years. And I'm very happy to say that this new Mixed Nuts group of 12 translators has been going for over seven years now, and I haven't lost any translators. In fact, I have gained a lot of new translators because they tend to have babies. And <laughs> it's a funny thing that uh, a lot of our translators are, are uh, raising families now. And it's very beautiful to see how they are using uh, the books. But I have to say, they are nerds. Uh, they are people who enjoy uh, the hard work of learning an ancient language. They are dedicated to the higher ideals of these Asian classics. I think all of them are very dedicated to the great ideas of compassion, harmony, wisdom that we see in these ancient books. So what are some of the immediate successes you've seen so far with the translator program? Uh, in the immediate successes, we've been working really hard and we have done already, we have completed in the last seven to eight years, we have finished over 1,200 classes. Every single class takes three to five hours of preparation. They are very, very deep, very difficult topics. We chose the books that nobody else can do, and we chose the books that future generations will not be able to do, and we, we have chosen purposely the deepest books. Again, uh, the more difficult an idea is, generally, the more it's going to change your life, okay? So, you know, coming to these classes, it takes some kind of courage uh, to come to a class and to sit through a class and to not really understand much of what's going on and then come back uh, to the class every week. Uh, it takes a lot of courage. And I think what I've seen is the people who have that courage uh, we have the translators, and we have a very uh, dedicated group of uh, participants around the world. And I can say that those people have really, really changed. Their life has changed, uh, their business has changed, uh, their family life has changed, uh, and amazing things have happened. I, I've been really pleased. Uh, I had uh, I had breakfast recently at the Peachtree Cafe uh, with one of the translators from Europe. Uh, and, and when we started the translation course, they were kind of having a hard life. Things were not going very well. And I had a chance to sit with them and uh, their new spouse uh, of about uh, three, four years now, and their family, uh, extended family, and I was amazed at how much this person had changed. And their business is going very well. Their family life is very sweet. And it was not that way at the beginning of these classes. And so I, I feel like there's a big potential here for each one of us. Once a translator has reached that, that place where you say that 15 year mark, and they're ready to be kicked out of the nest, right? <laughs> what do you imagine as for the growth and evolution of the translators once they have become master translators themselves? Uh, I'm 70 years old. It took me really 50 years to learn my skill in translation. I don't think, uh, and, and still, I don't think I have peaked out yet. Like, I still feel that uh, I learn a lot of new things every single day. And my knowledge and my ability in the translation keeps, keeps changing and, and going up. And I see that 
uh, in these younger people. I think uh, every responsible teacher of this wisdom must uh, develop younger people, uh, next generation and the generation below that, kids and grandkids, uh, who can pass on this wisdom, who can translate this wisdom. I think uh, all, each one of us, as we go through life, we have to think about developing people in our life whom, to whom we can pass on this wisdom. Otherwise, the wisdom will be lost in the world. So I feel very deeply that uh, the translators will be teaching. A lot of them, almost all of them are teaching. All of them, I can say, are teaching already. And they are good teachers. And when I sit and listen to their classes, I feel wonderful and I feel like we have a good future generation coming up. Is there anything else you would like to add that you haven't said thus far? Uh, thanks for asking. I would like to go over briefly the schedule of the new, of the new classes. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in the past, we had uh, three sessions a year of about 14 days of incredibly difficult schedule. We were trying to catch on the same day. Uh, we were trying to cover uh, the European and American time zones and then we were trying to cover the Asia time zones. And the only way to do that was for all of us to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and work till 9 o'clock at night and it just it's too hard for everybody. So we had a great new idea. Uh, we will move the classes to every Monday night of the year. First of all, Monday and Saturday, but Monday night class will start at uh, 4 o'clock Arizona time, which is 7 in the morning Beijing time, Asia time. And we'll do for one hour, uh, so that's Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, Beijing time, uh, Asia, Asia time, we will be covering a, a book which is not so difficult, okay? Sort of a book that you can understand, like uh, Shanti Deva's uh, Guide to the Bodhisattva's Way of Life or, or something like that, some book like that. We'll have a one-hour class, which will end at 8 a.m. Asia time, uh, which is 5 p.m. Monday night Arizona time, uh, which is too late for Europe. Uh, which would be 1 and 2 in the morning. So, uh, and then we'll do 15 minutes of how would you use this class in your real life? And all of us, translators and audience, will pitch in together and discuss that. And then we'll have about 15 minutes. Uh, uh, we'll just make announcements about what we have 20 different organizations in the Worldview Network. They have amazing programs going on around the world. I have Jasmine Yao in the studio today. She has a great group in China. They're doing great, great business study and great programs for health and healthy eating, yoga. And so we'll be kind of uh, featuring uh, in the second 15 minutes after the class uh, what's going on around the world. Uh, of, and then we'll have what we call a DCI, sorry, DCC, Diamond Cutter Classics, Elite Class. That will be uh, Beijing time. Uh, it'll go from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. And I understand that a lot of people maybe have to go to work. It's Tuesday morning. You can catch the class, the advanced class, uh, on a time delay. But that's going to be a very difficult advanced class, uh, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Monday night, Arizona time, which is uh, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Uh, Asia time. And that kind of, that class, you got to be tough to get into it. And by the way, I want to mention before I continue, all of these classes are now free. There will be no charge for participants uh, who participate in the classes. You can come for the rest of your life. I'm going to teach every Monday as, as long as I can. 
and there's no charge. We will squeeze you to become a subscriber, uh, to, to help us out every month, but you don't have to. Okay? Saturday morning, Arizona time, which is starting at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., we'll be doing sort of a medium level difficulty class for America and Europe audience. If uh, Asia people are tough, uh, it'll be 11 p.m. at night to 12 uh, midnight. Uh, and then again, for 15 minutes after the hour class, uh, we'll be discussing how do you think you could use this in your real life? Grandpa's getting old. Grandpa's 70 years old. We have to, each one of you has to develop the ability to grab the ancient wisdom and use it in, in real world programs. So really that 15 minute discussion will be training you to carry on in the future and to use the great books yourself to, to deal with whatever challenges come up in your life, in your generation, because they will not be the challenges that came up in my life. And in this way, all of our organizations can stay strong and continue into the future. From 9.15 to 9.30 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning, uh, again, we'll have uh, announcements about what's happening in the Worldview Network around the world. Uh, local people in uh, Sedona uh, will be doing uh, 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon uh, at the Western Tower building. Uh, we'll be doing uh, some meditation together before the class. And uh, also, uh, we'll be on Saturday morning, half an hour after the course finishes, we'll be going over to the Peace Tree Cafe to have cinnamon rolls and coffee together. All right, that's the plan. And I really hope to see you guys there.